Hey, what's going on? It's Jarvis from Kingdom Lawn Care, back with another video. I just want to make a video real quick. Uh, I want to talk about subcontracting and networking, which is very important. No matter no matter what industry you're in, no matter what uh, type of work or business you are uh, into. Uh, before I get into this video and this tip, I do want to say, you know, if y'all watch the videos, make sure y'all subscribe. And make sure y'all uh, like the video, you know, share the video so I can continue to put out good tips for the community, for people, you know, that want to grow in business. But uh, anyway, networking. Networking is something, you know, that we that we must do, something that's necessary, something that'll help us out uh, when we doing our business. So, and it's as simple as when you see somebody else that's uh, out mowing yards or doing landscaping, whatever, whatever it is, even if you do it and, you know what I'm saying, they do the same exact thing you do, you know, stop and get to know them, talk to them. You know, it's always, had a, it's always good to have good friends in the business, you know, that you can call or relate to, that you can talk to about the same thing, you know, like-minded people. <clears throat> Uh, I got a good friend, Mike Gibson, Gibson Lawn Service. So y'all check him out over at Gibson Lawn Service on YouTube and he on Instagram too. But uh, anyway, uh, we talk a lot and we we network a lot. And there's a couple of more guys, you know, that just cut grass that I network with. But uh, if if we ever need each other or ever need anything, it's not us seeing each other and trying to compete against each other and trying to you know, uh, climb over each other to get nowhere, but we share work. And, and when, when it's in an area that I don't go to, I give it to him. When it's in an area he don't go to, he call, you know, send the people to me. And it's supposed to work like that. Even, even networking with people that's in other, uh, that's, that's doing other businesses that still may be in, in the yard. And it's good. Like when you can offer different things to your customers, like right now, I got I know a guy <clears throat> that I could call on and do bush hogging, you know, uh, spraying dirt that that a gray yards for me to prep facade. I know a guy you know that'll cut trees down for me, grind stumps. Uh, a guy that'll help and do my irrigation work. You know, all those, all those different things that's in the yard that somebody bound to ask you about sooner or later. You know, it's good to have somebody that's good, somebody that's reliable that you can call on to help you out in those things that you don't do and that you don't offer. So I, I do challenge you, you know, find somebody. When you see somebody out working, man, even if it's a plumber or electrician, and you and you build a relationship with them and you know they're a good person and you can put your name behind them and you can trust them and you can rely on them and you know you can uh you know that you can uh refer them to some of your clients that's a good thing cuz then guess what then later on they may run across something and they can refer you you know what I'm saying to some of they uh people so man it's good to network network will take you a long way and it's good to always have somebody and it's not it's not all about making money but you can also you know make money together because uh, we doing a side job this week. Well, I'm gonna call some guys in to help me on the uh to help me throw the side out. It gotta be some stumps grinding. I'm gonna call a guy in to uh come grind some stumps for me, and he gonna make his money. But I'm writing up the whole proposal, so <clears throat> I'm gonna write up the whole proposal. So I'm gonna put my 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 little bit in on top of it, and then the guy gonna grade for me. I'm gonna put my money in on top of that. You know, then I may even contract out uh, the uh, side job, you know, actually laying the side. So, and just networking, like, it's, it's go, it goes good because I don't even have to do much on that job. I just land the job and, and, and write everything up, you know, get the job pushed through. And then I'm supplying work for people, you know, in my in my little network, you know, people that I deal with. So I do challenge y'all, you know, to network with people, to talk to people, man, be friendly. Even if you're not real friendly, I'm not saying go out and you need to go uh, go fishing with people and hunt with just kick it with them all the time. That's not what I'm saying. 
but just be in relationships with people, man, that you can depend on, you know, good people. Don't get nobody, man, that's going to have, do nothing that you can't depend on. You, you're not sure. If you can't put your name behind them, don't go out there giving them work. Don't go out there referring them to none of your people because guess what? Your people, your clients, those are your people. And you don't want you don't want nobody coming in and messing up your relationship with them. A lot of people say, oh, this business, you know, and this this is a whole nother subject that we can get into one day. This business, uh, you don't need to be trying to be friends with your clients. Well, guess what? I love all my clients. My clients love me. One thing for sure, I'm gonna take care of my clients. And my clients know if they ever need something, they ask me for it. If I send somebody to them, they can count on them. They can depend on them. So find your network, man. Find some people, you know, then you can branch out. Right now, I'm pretty much just a solo guy. My wife helped me sometimes, but I'm able to push out big jobs, big jobs, because I can call on people. I'm able to push out a 20 pallet uh, saw job, like get the whole yard graded, get trees cut down. I done done this stuff, like get whole trees cut down, get, get the stumps grinded, get the whole yard graded, bring in uh, 18 pallets of saw, get all this spread. And I'm just, I'm just a solo operator. But because I network and because I know different people and because I got people that's in the same industry, you know, they landscape and they cut grass, I'm able to call on these people. You know what I'm saying? And then, if if it's ever like an overload on work, a lot of times I give a whole lot of work away. And it's because I don't want to grow a big old business. I'm satisfied pretty much where I am. And I'm not trying to get a whole lot bigger than like the stuff that I do take. I'm very, very strict on who I let in. So I just want to put this video out there, man, and encourage y'all, man, to make sure you network, make sure you build a tight group of people that you call them. Don't have don't have two people that you always trying to call and do the same thing for you. Get one person that's going to do this. You get one person that's going to cut trees and grind, and grind the stumps. Get one person that can uh, spread dirt, bush hog for you. You know, they can do your grading. They might got a dump truck or you might got a dump trailer, but get one person for all this stuff. So no matter what these people ask for in the yard, Listen, we I can't it'll be it'll be kind of foolish for me to to go out and buy a, uh a tractor because I do side jobs sometimes. It's a whole lot easier and it's a whole nother topic right here. It's a whole lot easier for me to contract that work out and me still make money versus me having that piece of equipment and then I just use that piece of equipment sometimes. So I do encourage y'all, man, go out, man, network when y'all see people. That's uh, doing something and you know eventually they can help you and go talk to them. Introduce yourself to them. Give them your business card. You know what I'm saying? To try to build them in business. You know what I'm saying? Send work their way. And then later on, man, it's, it come back to you. So I just want to put that video out there. Like I said, man, make sure y'all subscribe, man. Make sure y'all like the video and share it. I appreciate it. Y'all take care.